Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Gabriela Baron. His Majesty the King welcomed Ms. Baron and underlined the level of close cooperation linking the Representatives Council of Bahrain and the IPU, noting the importance of holding such visits that contribute to achieving frameworks of mutual cooperation and exchange of expertise regarding parliamentary and democratic work. His Majesty the King highlighted the democratic achievements and the important successes activated by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the reform project of His Majesty on various levels, especially in the parliamentary fields, stressing that the Kingdom is moving forward in the approach of development and modernization, achieving national gains for the advancement and progress of its people. His Majesty underlined the achievements of Bahraini women and their high status in society, adding that Bahraini people live as a family that welcomes everyone from all over the world and finds the hospitality that stems from the customs and traditions of its people. His Majesty the King wished the President of the IPU every success in her visit to the Kingdom to learn about democratic experience motivated by the will and conviction of the people of Bahrain. For her part, the President of the Interparliamentary Union expressed her happiness to meet His Majesty the King and visit the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting Bahrain's progress in various fields, especially the parliamentary aspect and the achievement of women's role on the political level. She also praised the cooperation between the IPU and the Representatives Council in Bahrain. She also welcomed the election of Fawziya Zainal as Speaker of the Council, reflecting the important role played by Bahraini women in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya Zainal held a meeting with the International Parliamentary's President, Gabriela Barone. She affirmed the Representatives Council is keen on promoting its relationship with the IPU and building on the previously taken approach by activating the parliamentary di diplomacy. She noted the achievements of Bahrain have been made possible thanks to the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who established a comprehensive development process to build a better future for the nation. The Speaker reiterated the Council of Representatives' support to the International Parliamentary Union in its efforts as a fair and unequivocal long-standing international organization seeking to contribute in building a less violent new international order. The IPU President expressed her delight in meeting the first female National Parliament Speaker in the Arab region through a direct democratic process, sending a strong message to the world about the Kingdom of Bahrain's advanced democratic reforms initiated and led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the awareness of the Bahraini people. The IPU President invited the Bahraini Speaker to join membership of the IPU's high-level advisory group, suggesting that agreements be made between both sides relating to training on parliamentary leadership skills in cooperation with the relevant international universities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today the President of the IPU, Gabriela Baron, who is currently visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain. The minister welcomed her, hailing the IPU's important role in promoting peace and security in the region and the world at large, and stressed the keenness of Bahrain to strengthen its cooperation ties with the IPU at various levels, wishing Ms. Baron success. The IPU president expressed her thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs for his welcome and commended the effective role and professionalism of the members of the Representatives Council in Bahrain, as well as their cooperation and coordination with the IPU. The two sides also touched on a number of issues of common concern and the most important developments on the regional and international arenas. A Shura Council delegation has participated in the proceedings of the International Symposium on National Reconciliation Experiences in the Moroccan capital, Rabat. The delegation asserted that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has taken a number of advanced steps in the field of national reconciliation to promote values of justice, coexistence and harmony that characterize Bahrain. For more on the Rabat Symposium, we are joined by the Chairman of the Shura Council Human Rights Committee and member of the Bahraini delegation, Mr. Ahmed Mahdi Al-Haddad. Hello Mr. Al-Haddad, could you please tell us more about Bahrain's presentation of its experience in the field of national reconciliation during the symposium? Uh, good evening to you and to all the viewers of Bahrain TV International. Bahrain experience was presented today during this meeting 
the initiative of His Majesty the King that established the Truth and National Co Reconciliations Commission April 2011 was very much received and appreciated by the, par the participants. It was described as a brave and courageous step taken by His Majesty the King in spite of all the challenges which prevailed at the time. The national dialogue that was initiated by His Majesty the King April, uh, uh, March 2011 was as well referred to and highlighted by the member states of the meeting. As everyone is aware, this dialogue attributed uh, by his uh, by the legislative and attended by the legislative and executive branch and the private sector and civil society and NGOs and distinguished personalities from Bahrain was the initiative of His Majesty the King. The consensus and the conclusion of this dialogue contributed in restoring peace, security, and security in Bahrain, and led to the stability which prepared the ground and foundation to the economic boom and the development of the process of democratic development in Bahrain, and led, and besides, strengthening and enhancing the unity of the people of Bahrain, as a result of which the country witnessed and still witnessing today political, economic, and social developments. If you may allow me to say something here also, tomorrow there is a very important topic which is going to be taken and discussed, and that is the approval of, of both Arab states and African states during this meeting of draft agreement of cooperation between both between all these countries in the field of agriculture that provide exchange of uh, technology in irrigation, mutual visits by experts to those countries so as to develop the agriculture sector and increase the volume of the crops in these countries besides providing financial assistance. Yes, thank you very much Mr. Al-Haddad for joining us from Rabat and we wish you the best of luck. The National Bureau for Taxation today held a workshop aimed at increasing the awareness of registered government entities on VAT treatment and policies. Today's workshop attracted representatives from around 30 government entities and provided a summary of core VAT concepts in addition to reviewing the VAT treatments and policies. During the workshop, the NBT reminded civil servants of the Cabinet's decision to ensure that 1,400 public services are not subject to 5% VAT, in line with the Royal Directives of His Majesty the King, to review the VAT application process during its trial period. The NBT continues to hold an extensive series of workshops to facilitate the exchange of technical experience and to assure the correct application of the VAT.